Unfortunately, we weren't able to go on our annual travel adventure this year. So instead, we embarked upon a new one here at home. Introducing the Urban Stillhouse by Horse Soldier. There are people that come here and they're not familiar with Horse Soldier Bourbon. They're just coming to a, a cool new restaurant. Those are the people that I love to meet because you get to tell them, well, let me back up. Yes, we're in a restaurant, but we're here because of a brand. And let me explain to you what this brand is about and what these guys did. I heard the story and I started to get excited about the story of the Horse Soldiers. Yeah, sometimes the story gets old because you can't just say, I work at Horse Soldiers Distillery. You gotta give them the entire backstory too. Because then when you do, then they're like, wow. It started three years ago. First of all, we had to find the right building. The second we walked into this building, that's it. We're home. We spent the first seven months taking everything out of here to its bare bones. Elizabeth spent so much time and energy and effort to make all of the Urban Stillhouse so beautiful. I was responsible for the vision and the design, the aesthetic of the Urban Stillhouse. There are a lot of elements that tie both the interior and the bottle together. We're part of a team here, just like we were in Special Forces. We all stick to what we call our lanes, right? I do production, John is the business head. Elizabeth is everything beautiful. From the branding, the label design, the look, the feel, the colors. The greens, the, the browns, the leathers, they're all very masculine. At the same time, they're very elegant. And Elizabeth, our designer, likes to say it's the blending of diamonds meets blue jeans. Up until a year ago, I was the only woman in the, the company. She is definitely the Snow White, and we're seven dorks. On some days, that's very accurate, yes. We didn't open a restaurant. We opened a showcase of the brand of Horse Soldier. This is a very special place. There's so much of our journey embodied in this building. We have wood from the barns from Kentucky. The fireplaces were made by the stonemasons from Scotland. Elizabeth took our bottle design and made it into a building. We don't just carry horse holder bourbon, we carry um, everything pretty much. Right now we have about 325 whiskeys behind this bar from all over the world. Basically our goal is to get as many bourbon, scotches, Japanese whiskeys, Irish whiskeys that we can get. So eventually we want to try to get this to around 500. Um, we're working right now to get some really rare things, you know, like collections that people don't have anywhere. So this is like the place to come when you want a good whiskey. I would call my food uh, American Bistro. I'm old school, fresh ingredients, treated well, proper technique, presented simply on the plate, artfully yet simply. One of the things I think that we do is, that is great is we use our own barrels in our fires that we're cooking with. The young oak, you know, just creates such a unique flavor. It's, it's definitely a corner piece of our kitchen and it's something that I think it, it's unique that you don't see everywhere. In the special operations community, we had a team room. In the team room, all your business of, of the ODA was conducted. You had your weapons, your clothing, your all your kit, and is where you hid from, from everybody to plan and to do the work you had to do. So when we built the, the urban still house, we asked for our own team room. Just think the ultimate man cave, right? Except we've got bears and we've got antelopes. We've got machetes, we've got hatchets that were given to us and specially made. We have letters signed by presidents uh, to us and to the special operations community. All of these kind of mementos and trophies and attaboys are there in the team room. 
It's basically a collection of things that we hold dear that are a way for us to remember the journey that we've been on for the last 30 years. It's a wonderful place, and who gets to go in is typically by invitation only. Who knows, maybe you'll be invited someday. Come see us. We are a restaurant, we have our own identity, but we always come back to their story. It's so easy to get behind that, you know, a group of people who believe in what they do and go full force at it, no matter what it is. This is my family's legacy. This is blood, sweat, and tears that the guys physically put into this building. Um, and it means everything to me, and I get to see my dad every day, which I honestly don't think, like, I sometimes I haven't stopped to smell the roses. I need to more often.